Hi, my name is William. Uh, I and my colleagues Nishank and Suraj from University of Toronto have been working on a software defined project in this semester. And this is a presentation of what we have done in this project. Uh, this is how this presentation is arranged. Uh, starting from introduction, we'll see how SPM uh, is used in the detection of DDoS, what training parameters are used for training this SVM, uh, how these parameters are extracted. Uh, then we'll have an overall system demo uh, along with some concluding remarks. So uh, the high efficiency of DDoS attacks and their ability to disrupt normal uh, network functions was our main motivation for taking up this project. Uh, the advanced uh, network features like a global view uh, of the network uh, makes it easier for us to mitigate and detect a DDoS attack. So we propose to use uh, machine learning to distinguish between normal traffic and malicious traffic. Uh, and in case uh, of detection of a, a DDoS attack, we propose to install flows in the switches to mitigate these attacks. Out of the various classifiers uh, that can be used in anomaly detection, we used uh, SVM because it's proven to have uh, low false positive rates and a good accuracy uh, according to the literature survey. Um, this is a classification hyperplane and basically how uh, SVM works uh, in order to classify uh, two different types of data. So. These are the SVM training parameters. Um, the speed of the source IPs. This is the incoming uh, number of IPs per unit time. The standard deviation of uh, incoming flow packets. Standard deviation of incoming flow bytes. Uh, the total number of flow entries per unit time. And the ratio of pair flow entries. This is the number of interactive flows uh, divided by total number of flow entries. Uh, a flow entry is defined as an interactive flow if there is a bi-directional path between uh, a source and a destination in the flow. The next part of this presentation will be taken up by Suraj Ayer. Thanks William. Now we move on to the parameter trends based on which the SVM classifier has been trained. The trend on the left shows the speed of flow entries and the two graphs on the right demonstrate the standard deviation of flow pack flow packets as well as the standard deviation of flow bytes. Now the one on the left it has a steep increase during DDoS attack scenario since more number of flows are created into the switches to tackle with the large number of incoming IPs. Also, the standard deviation of flow packets and the flow bytes decreases uh, due to the increased number of packets resulting in increased number of flows, but there is very slight uh, variation in the packet size as well as the byte size which results in lower deviation. Now, the two graphs shown here represent the sp speed of source IP address on the left and the ratio of pair flow entries on the right. Now, as you can observe, there is a steep increase during DDoS attack case for the speed of uh, source IP address. Since we are making use of IP spoofing te technique to simulate the DDoS attack, uh, there is a new IP which is entering the network at every instance so the switch has to tackle with this issue and create a new flow entry for each and every IP address entering the pool and that results in increased number of flows per unit time and that is being demonstrated by this graph and uh, the ratio of pair flow entries decreases during the DDoS attack scenario since the response send, uh, sent out by the target target host machine is lost out in the address space and as you can observe uh, the ratio of pair flow entries is approximately equal to 1 during the normal traffic case wherein 
a bidirectional flow is being created for every incoming IP. Uh, this slide represents the network topology that has been used in the project. Uh, we have made use of mini edit GUI to create the topology. The controller used in this case is box. Four switches have been connected which is being linked with 20 other hosts with five hosts connected per switch and then we have switch S1 which is the aggregation switch linking all the other switches. Switch 6 represents the deep packet inspection box in the network. H1 in this case represents host 1 which is the potential victim of DDoS attack. Now we move on to the parameter extraction strategy. Uh, we monitor the flow parameters of switch S1 every 3 seconds. So we need to compute two distinct data sets, one for the normal traffic and other for the uh, DDoS attack traffic. For normal traffic simulation, we make use of HPing3 and simulate the traffic from 20 different hosts at random durations. Now, we ping the target host machine using HPing3 with random number of packets, bytes and every host pings at a fixed rate of 1 packet per second. Now, to simulate the DDoS attack traffic, we make use of the HPing3 again but in this case we make use of randomly spoofed IPs with a very high packet rate of 10 packets per second and uh, we <coughs> in order to uh, simulate the DDoS attack in a realistic manner we make use of two different hosts and uh, simulate the attack from them. Now this slide uh, represents the trained SVM classifier result the red data points represents the case when SPM detects anomalous behavior and on the contrary the green points represent normal traffic. The graph shows that the features have high correlation with the event of an attack and based on the features extracted SVM classifier is successful in creating a hyperplane which classifies the data points into their corresponding classes. Thank you Suraj. Now we'll be moving on to the demo section. So um, here I'm going to start the system demo. The system demo here is a pre-recorded video for our convenience and uh, so here I start the video. As discussed earlier, this is the underlying topology that we are going to be using. I'm just going to run the topology over here and once I have run the topology, I'm just going to enter a ping all command to check if the network is up and working successfully or not. So here goes the ping all command and now the next step is going to be simulation of a DDoS attack from host 2 towards host 1 and to simulate that attack I am going to use a classic HPing3 tool. Uh, the packet rate is going to be about 100 packets per second and all of the packets are going to be sent from random IPs. So as you can notice here in the command uh, it's going to be 100 packets per second and random source IPs. So here our attack has started successfully now. Uh, now if we observe carefully, once the DDoS attack is led to run successfully for a while, uh, what it does it it renders the switches that are under attack useless and that's why I'm not being able to ping host h1 from host 6 as we can see here uh, let's wait for a while to confirm that the ping is not passing through as you can see ping from host 6 to host 1 is not working but the switches which were not involved in the DDoS attack are still running successfully and to confirm that I'm going to ping host 10 from host 12 or I'm pardon me the other way around host 12 from host 10 and as you can see the ping is up and working successfully uh, now the next step is going to be kind of restarting the network and once I've restarted the network I'm going to again type a ping all command to check if it's up and running successfully and now I'm going to start a DDoS or rather I'm sorry I'm going to start normal traffic from node host 6 
and this script test.sh is just a script that we have created to uh, start flows with random number of packets and random number of bytes uh, for a random duration and that's what we classify as normal traffic here the same is going to be the case with host 7 I'm going to start normal traffic from here uh, by using this test.sh script so as we can see normal traffic has started um, the next step that we are going to do over here is that I'm going to run this collect e.sh script now what this collect e.sh script does is that it extracts the features at an interval of every three seconds from the network it passes the features to uh, onto our already trained SVM classifier and then the classifier classif classifies the, the, the that feature set as either normal behavior or anomalous behavior from the network so here as you see I have started the collect e.sh script and uh, as we'll be as we'll be able to observe here uh, it shows that the network option or network operation is in normal status right now so that's what our objective was uh, to classify the normal traffic as normal and now the next step is going to be starting a DDoS attack into this network and let's see if our script successfully catches the attack or not mm, I'm going to start the attack with the same command used earlier and same 100 packets per second all from a random source and as you can see here as soon as I started the DDoS attack the script started categorizing the network traffic as anomalous and it has also started adding the mitigative flows that is the deep packet inspection box has started working and adding mitigative flows into the network that stops the DDoS traffic and successfully runs the normal traffic to confirm that I'm going to ping host h1 from host 10 and here we go and as we'll be able to observe here the responses from host 1 are extremely delayed but still the network is up and running that means the flows are successfully being filtered out and the normal flows are successfully being led through so that will be the end of this demo we have successfully implemented the script and sorry and now I'll be again moving on to the next slide and that's the future directions of this project uh, the future directions of this project for that one could be the use of real world traffic because real world traffic would help to uh, simulate or understand the matrix of normal traffic better that way we can classify or segregate the normal traffic from DDoS traffic better and um, one more thing that we would like to improve on is uh, improve the feature correlation what that would do is it would in, uh, it was it would include a wide range of attacks uh, where the difference between those parameters is not that great or I mean where the difference between those parameters is really subtle uh, and the last thing that we would want here is improved testbed framework uh, that's because um, the sudo OVS dump flows command uh, once I have started a flow it takes at least three seconds to detect that flow so if I start a flow and enter the dump flows command before three seconds passing it essentially that that particular flow essentially does not show up on the display and uh, if we have some command to retrieve the flows faster then maybe we could uh, we would be able to extract the network status or the network behavior even faster uh, that would actually help us to detect the DDoS attack way faster than it is being done right now and now we'll be moving on to the conclusion so to conclude this video uh, we had uh, proposed three objectives during our proposal uh, the primary was the detection of DDoS attack the secondary objective was rerouting the flows of DDoS attack and uh, to a deep inspection box and the third was using the deep inspection box to filter out the DDoS flows and uh, allow the normal flows to pass through and all the three objectives have been achieved successfully um, so now we'll be having a quick glance through the references and 
that would conclude this video thank you for watching